What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe. So today I want to share with you all what happened to me last night, which is that I got triggered. And what is a trigger? What do I mean? Well, something pressed a button and suddenly you're reacting. And typically when you're triggered, it's very emotional. So, and, and it can be emotional in like any kind of way. It can be scary. It can be angry. It can be happy. You know, like there can be positive triggers too. Typically we talk about them like they're negative, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It's just that a trigger is like a little mechanism boom, springs to life. And something that you didn't know was there, apparently is there, or at least is there for you in that moment, definitely. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get into it. All right, I'm going to start off just with, you know, fully getting the definition of this term down pat. So on my little dictionary app, we have trigger. Trigger, pronunciation key. No, I wanna go back. Go back. Trigger, the lever pressed by the finger to discharge a firearm, a similar device used to release or activate a mechanism, something that precipitates a particular event or situation to set off, initiate, to fire, or explode. And that's usually, you know, why we go into that negative meaning is usually it feels like an explosion, like a poo, and it's very out of control and we don't even feel like we're the ones doing it, which isn't true. So anyway, last night uh, at like midnight, also you might find that triggers tend to go off when you're at your most susceptible. So typically if you're like hungry or tired, I think those are the two to really look out for is am I hungry and am I tired? And if you're doing something that is potentially triggering and you are one of those two things, maybe it's best to do it at a time when you're more calm and stable. Maybe, you know, just to set yourself up to be in the best possible position. But I didn't do that. I said, okay, let's do this. Bring it on. Let's have at it. Come at me. And I got triggered. And, and the thing that I want to say to everyone is, all right, we really do want to cultivate awareness at all times and not feel like victims. What I mean by feeling like a victim is you are always the one doing it. You were always the one feeling, you were always the one reacting, you were always the one thinking, you were always the one having the experience. You are in control of that. Even if it feels like, bing, this, this mechanism just got set off. That was really good timing. You're still in control and you can stop it at any point. Even if it feels like, mm, but my insides, yeah. You know what, you just start thinking in a different way you let those emotions happen, you let those things bubble up, but you are in control and you can step outside of it. And so as much as I'm like, I got triggered last night, I also, it's really strange when you start to work with this because you also kind of, well, first of all, you become aware you've been triggered in the moment. In the moment of being triggered, you're like, oh, I'm doing this. And it's almost like you step outside of your body and you're watching yourself, which you can do at any moment, any moment. Really, I can do it right now. And it's kind of weird, but you can always do this, all right? So that happened to me last night where I was like, huh, I'm, I'm, I'm triggered right now and I can stop this. And in my head, it was almost like a back and forth. Like, do I need to shut this down? What should I say? I can be a much better person in this situation. I can be a lot nicer in this situation. I don't have to react like this. And for whatever reason, I decided to go down the path I went on. And, and I don't think it was a bad path, but I was aware of it. And that is huge. If you are there, good on you. Because once you're aware, then, then you can have power and then you can do something about it. So really awareness, key, 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 key. I will, I will never stop talking about awareness ever because without that, I don't know, then we have nothing. So I was aware of it. And the thing that I really want to say about triggers is like, they will happen. 
They won't necessarily happen, okay? If you have it that like, I'm never triggered, great. You are never triggered and keep that up. That's wonderful. But for those of you who do sometimes find yourself, but for those of you who do sometimes find yourselves triggered, it's all right. Like it's okay. There are things around the triggering. And this, this is like my favorite thing to discuss is that it's always the context of anything. So what is your context about being triggered? I used to have it that I wasn't allowed to react in that way, that if I did, there would be really dire consequences. And so that kind of constricts you. And then it means that if you do get triggered, it's even more of a high pressure situation because you're reacting in a certain way. And then you're also like reacting to your reaction in a like, oh, this is awful, what's happening right now? It doesn't have to be that. You can create any context around the triggering and one that people really like to use. And I, I use this a little bit and I do think it's helpful is you can have everything working out for you, right? And so whenever you are triggered, it can be like, oh my gosh, I get to discover something that I didn't know was there. I get to learn more about myself and I get to heal that or I get to, I get to change that, I get to alter that, I get to work with that, I get to release that. So it's just something that's coming up to the surface. And now, oh, okay, now because it's up at the surface, now I get to really see it and air it out and decide, hey, do I like this or do I want to have something else in its place? So you can have triggers in a way be like these beautiful, happy accidents that happen for you. And you're like, thank you. Thank you for like giving me this glimpse into myself that I didn't have previously. And in that case too, the person who is triggering you or the situation that is triggering you is actually a blessing. You can have that. I'm not saying it is that because you can have the exact opposite. You can have victim mentality around it and you can be like, mm, this person does this and then I just react this way and it's all terrible. You can have that context. Neither one is better or worse, but I know which one feels better and I know which one I would prefer to have. So another context though, is around the situation or the people themselves that are triggering you or just the, the people or the environment you find yourself in when triggered. So you can have it that people are really reactive to you in a negative way. There's a dog that's like, what dog is that? Do you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear this. But there's like crickets. It is so loud. I feel like I'm living in the country. I'm not, but I feel like I am. I don't think that dog's gonna stop barking. I intend for that dog to stop barking. Okay, so you can also look at the people. No, I have to wait. I'm just gonna wait, it's fine. Okay, so the people in your environment people who are with you when you're triggered or the people who are triggering you or the circumstances that are triggering you. What have you made up about the circumstances? What have you made up about those people and how do they react when you're reacting? You can have anything that you want. So you can have it that they're really hard on you, that they're really judgmental of you, that they're really intolerant of you when you are in those moments, that there isn't a lot of wiggle room for you to wiggle, you know? You can have it too that they're completely understanding and actually they catch you. They catch you. They're totally cool with it. They're just fine with you blowing up at them. And actually in those situations, they're, they like rise to the challenge. You can have it be whatever you want. You can have it that they're like really forgiving and understanding and that it just blows over or that it's actually like funny in the moment that they find it really cute or charming, but that like, that they love you when you're triggered, that they, that they think you're really cute or charming or funny, or they love how like you scrunch your nose when you get upset or angry, or you're a really beautiful crier, or, or they, they just like wanna hold you and make everything feel better. 
stroke your hair and it actually turns into a really lovely situation like you can have a whole world around anything that you do anything anything including being triggered and i didn't really intentionally do this but this is like how people are actually showing up for me i got really ping pinged. i got pinged with my mom the other day and it was amazing it was amazing i i just like flared up like all of a sudden there's something there and i went upstairs to my room and then she just came after me and sat on the bed and was like i'm sorry like there was no time lag we didn't we didn't stew about it at all we resolved it instantly and i didn't even initiate the resolution she did that she did that and she was totally fine with it and she apologized and then i apologized and you can have it be that that like the people in your life are that mature that they just catch you they're just there for you with you when you when you have a little flare up and it's fine and if anything you can also have a beat that it makes your relationship stronger like you could have anything around this and last night i thought that i was like in a text conversation and i thought like oh gosh you know the things that i am texting right now i know are not super benevolent to put it that way but i'm texting this and it's fine and it was fine person I was texting with was like if anything kind of amused by my responses and like interested that I was reacting this way like like he was like wow I, I, I didn't know you would you would react like this this is interesting this is information <laughs> and there was like a part of him that I think at one point he was like I'm kind of enjoying seeing you react like this and I was like yeah I know you are and if anything, it was just funny. And then like at the end of the conversation, he, he was just really nice about it and really sweet and like hoped I had a good night. And I ended the combo and like, and you know, now it's time to sleep. And I'm like, okay, am I gonna keep thinking about this? Am I gonna like stay in this reactive state or am I just gonna go to sleep? And I was like, no, I'm just like literally turning that off and I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna have a great night. And you can do that at any minute. So that's what I want to say about triggers that like you're in control, okay? Even when you're not in control, you can have, you can give yourself a buffer. You can give yourself a sense of safety with yourself and with other people and with the environment. It's all good. It's all there for you. Just have everything work out in a really beautiful way. And it will. Like create your own safety net. Create your own context around things so that so that you're just always safe and secure and, and with loving people and that that everything, everything is always working out for you because it always is. And see the dog stop barking because like, you know, because everything's always working out. <laughs> All right. Okay. I love you so much and I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.